friends, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe it, but it has been three months since we started 2017 and it's time for my three month pan those palettes update. So I'll go ahead and start with my bomb palette as I always do. I'll go ahead and show you guys right now where I was last month. And I'm very happy to report that this is where I am currently. So as you guys can see, I have finally hit pan on candy. This was where I placed all of my focus in the month of March. I don't think I wore anything else but this because I was so hell bent on being able to hit pan on it. And shortly after I filmed my update, I hit pan on this. And then I started to work more towards like the side here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to really pick up on that. I've been like using my finger to scrape out product and then put it on my cheeks and then I'll blend it out with my beauty blender. I've been liking the effect of that. I'm liking the look of it. And so I feel like I'm just slowly trying to wear down this side. This is probably the most um, emollient of all the blushes like out of these two that I have panned. So I'm not feeling the need to, I used to for um, cider and for caramel. I had to like take a bobby pin and I like scraped around and collected the product into the center of the pan to be able to then pick it back up. I don't think I'm gonna have to necessarily do that as long as it stays this sort of emollient based and be able to just easily rub some onto my cheeks. I'm very happy with this. Um, like I said, I haven't really touched crisp or pie because I wanted to focus my energy on this. And I think I'm gonna keep staying with it because I think the color candy just looks really good for the spring for my skin tone. So I'll keep plugging away at it and then ideally I hope I can get this done, like this whole thing done by like no later than the end of May. That way I can move on to pie, which I feel like will be really good summer color for me. I might toy with cobbler in the summer to see if I can use that and then I feel like crisp is going to be a good winter uh, fall color for me. So it's kind of like my game plan to be able to do this by the end of spring, this in the summer, and then uh, this, these two in like the fall and the winter to be able to finish this off completely. I don't know, we'll see, but either way I'm just happy that I finally hit pan because I was getting a little disenfranchised with the panning of the bomb palette. The next thing I have is my Maybelline The Blush Nudes. I will go ahead and show you guys where I was last month. And this is where I currently am after three months of usage. So as you guys can probably tell, the color that was sitting in this pan is completely used up. It took me probably until like a week and a half ago to completely use this guy up and then it was officially gone. And so now what I've been doing basically is using this as my crease shade. I have worked really hard to be able to reduce all of the product around like this edge over here that was sitting here and just sort of widening this. Again, I'm gonna keep working on like this half of the shadow because I am liking this in my crease. I used this one maybe like a handful of times but not a ton and the same thing with this shade, not a ton. Um, I will admit that I did use this shade and it is not what I'm gonna pan. I'm actually going to scrape this out of here after this update because it's just not a uh, worthwhile while color. You can see it on here. I don't know if it's gonna be able to pick up um, effectively. It's got like chunks of maroon glitter and I thought like maybe I could work with it but when you see it sort of put out, there's just nothing. There's no real like color payoff. It's just sort of like chunks of glitter. I wore it as like a crease color and it really just wasn't worth it. So I'm just going to go ahead and nix this shade. So I'll be down to essentially these ones to work with. I have played with these a bit and they definitely are things that I can use. It just, I feel like won't be something that I focus on until I get this one out. This is such an easy color for me and it works really well with my skin tone that I'm gonna gravitate towards it naturally. So because I really don't have any lid colors that go with this, I pulled into my project uh, Pam this e.l.f. shade this is in the color rose gold. It's like a liquidy shimmery metallic. This goes really well with that crease color. Also some other lid colors that I have discovered that I like. Um, I've been pulling out my Lorac Pro palette. As you guys know, I hit 
and panned three shadows last year unintentionally. And so I've been trying to dig into champagne. But what I've been discovering about this as a lid color is that it is very like glittery. And what frustrates me, I don't care that it's glittery, like I can work with it because it's a pretty color, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. This is what it looks like, if you can kind of pick up on that. It's very light, but you know, very shimmery, so I can pack it on the lid. My frustration comes in with the fact that there are like chunks of shimmer in here that end up don't making it onto my lid and ends up all along my like under eye area. And I don't do my foundation until after I do my eye makeup, but yet without fail, I can't get rid of that glitter. So I always kind of have that like few awkward sparkles on my face. Um, so I think I'm gonna move this more to like a weekend color when I don't really care so much that I've got like little flecks of glitter on my face um, and then be able to perhaps pan another shadow in here. I don't know, it's the only shadow so far that I've been disappointed in from this whole palette. And I've also on the rare occasion done like light pink as a color on my lids, but haven't been super like thrilled with that. The last lid color that I've been pulling in is from my MUA Makeup Academy Professional. This is the Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I've been pulling in this shade. I really, really like what this shade looks like. I think it's just a really pretty easy color to work with and it looks good with that. So, I mean, the only real plus side about not really having any lid colors left for me is that it's kind of made me or inspired me to start working and potentially panning other lid colors from different palettes, which I think is good. Um, but it also means that I'm probably gonna have a hard time making like significant progress on these two for a while until this one's out of my life and it forces me to start using them. But you know, we'll see where it goes. I am still not sick of using this palette. I'm still really, really enjoying it. Um, I've also continued to really produce a lot of pan on my Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is where my current cream is. I really don't have um, a ton of shadow left in here. I feel like by maybe the end of next month, this will be gone because I literally take this from like where the like my crease is all the way up and I pat it down before I even start and it helps um, these blend a lot easier. So, you know, it is what it is, but all around, I'm very happy with this update. I feel like I'm making good progress and I feel like I'm not really tired of anything, which has been really helpful and I haven't been wanting to stray from this like on the weekends I still pull this out and I'll use this in some capacity I'm never taking a complete weekend away from it which I think is a good sign because I generally do like this palette and I don't feel like it's a super burden to pan it all unlike when I did my last project pan which it was such a burden because I wasn't really in love with it but that's it for me I'll talk to you guys in my next update bye